Hello, I'm James from Merlin Archery and today we're going to have a look at the adjustments on the Mybo Victory Plus release aids. So the adjustments on all th three release aids that we offer, the Alley, the Alley Brass and the Brass is actually the same. So we're just going to look at the Half Brass. In fact, most of these adjustments work for nearly all multi-seared release aids. So, there is the release aid. The backing card of the release aid does contain quite an exhaustive instruction manual and that's what we'll be looking at primarily today. So the first thing we'll do is look at how to adjust it from the three finger to the four finger version. Let's basically done these two screws. Take those out. That spacer comes out, and the fourth finger bit that comes in the packet goes in, and we return the two screws. I'll just return those home. The next step in the instructions will look at adjusting the trigger travel. So the way this release aid works, you cock the lever on the back, close the jaw onto the D-loop. As it comes out of the packet, there is very little trigger travel before the release aid fires. To adjust that to make it more, you release this screw using a two and a half mil Allen key. So if now put it again, there should be some movement before quite a significant movement now before the release aid goes off. To set it to its minimum, cock the release aid and tighten the screw in until the release aid goes off. There. And then back it up a quarter turn. And now we're back to very little travel. The next step to look at is the trigger tension adjustment. That's done with a 2mm Allen key into the screw at the top of the release aid. To increase the tension, we screw that in. That increases the tension on the trigger. To make it lighter, we wind it out. There's an option for a second spring, a heavier spring than the 20mm one that's fitted. To change that, take the screw out completely and then the spring should drop out. It comes with the 25mm spring as well, which gives you a heavier adjustment range. That just drops in and with a little bit of effort that will uh, screw back in again. This now gives you a much heavier set of adjustments. The next thing to look at is the lateral travel adjustment for the trigger. That's this Allen key here. Uh, the, it prevents the trigger from moving left and right. This is set at the factory and should probably never be adjusted in the lifetime of the release aid. But if for some reason your release aid has become so that the trigger is loose and moving a little bit side to side. You can tighten that back up again by tightening the screw until it stops and backing it off less than a quarter of a turn, somewhere between an eighth and a tenth, somewhere like that. And then the release said we're we'll back to as it left the factory with little to no tr trigger movement. It's also possible on this release aid to move the trigger to a, a number of different locations. That's easily done with a 2.5mm Allen key into that screw and it rotates through a number of different locations to get it to where you feel comfortable. 
just tighten that up. You can also take the trigger off completely and fit it into the alternative mounting hole in the thumb barrel. Mount it into there, then we've got rotation on the thumb barrel as well. Just tighten that up into the position you want. This is all so possible to mount the thumb barrel directly to the trigger arm if you want a shorter position. All the screws that we've adjusted have been factory fitted with a little bit of Loctite 243, which is this stuff. If you do lots of adjustments, and particularly if you change the spring, it's recommended to put a little drop of that back in onto the screw when you put it back together to prevent vibrational movement. After you've done any of these adjustments, you need to make sure the release head is still operating correctly. The easiest way to do that is to test it. So cock the jaw onto this piece of D-loop that we've got hung off the hook that we use for the bow scale. Any solid object will do that it's not going to move. And then apply tension to it, just to make sure that it doesn't go off and that it does go off when you press the trigger. Lubricating the release aid is not recommended. It is occasionally acceptable to use a very light or penetrating oil. A drop there, a drop into the trigger, a drop into the jaw, that is all, very occasionally. The three remaining screws on the release aid are the case screws. Please do not remove these unless you are a very experienced archery technician in a pro shop. The components inside the release aid are under tension and it is very easy for bits of the release aid to go flying once you remove those three screws. Uh, thank you for watching this how-to video. I hope you found that as helpful.